Yo, we got Joe Biden, the winner of 2020. Yes. Yep. The white supremacists then win. The transphobics then win. The homophobics then win. The sexists then win. The people against people being able to have an abortion if they fucking want to. Like, if you people are pro-life, then go adopt a kid. Like, seriously. Like, like, if someone wants to have an abortion, they should be able to. Like, it's their body. Like, even, even if someone disagrees with the abortion thing... They should not be telling a woman what to do with their body. It's not right. And if an, if a baby's not born, technically it's not really murder because the baby is never born. Especially if it's in the earlier stages especially. But the thing is, a woman should be able to do what they want with their body, period. Like, seriously. Stop telling women what to do with their bodies. It's ridiculous. Thank God we have Biden who at least agrees with me. Yeah, I voted for Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, and for everything else, I just did the Democrats this year. Like, on the ballot, I just did the other Democrats, because I don't know my local people. I don't know them. So I just did, and for the school board, I didn't even know what was what, so I just picked a random one for that one. Because it, it wasn't, it was less political, because it didn't say Democrat, Republican, or anything like that. So it was less political, and I picked a random one with that. And for that, for the rest of them, I voted the Democrats. Like, I, I I would say as of now, I'm I'm more of aiming towards Democratic Party. Overall, I would consider myself to be an independent because I don't agree with everything from any party. But I do agree with people being able to do what they want with their own bodies, being able to be equal in society. I also agree with freedom of speech. I agree with people being able to be seen in a good way, whether they're black Hispanic, LGBT, like, without people trying to discriminate, because there are police that kill people just for being black, and there's people that will kill people just for being LGBT, like that thing in Orlando years ago. Alright, so, I mean, I don't look at everything. I'm not a super political person. Even though I have my preferences, I'm not a super political person. Like, I don't spend my whole life looking at politics. Usually in the elections, I only vote for the final two that are left, usually. That's usually what I do. Like, I usually pick from the final two. The person that let me vote for them in 2016, even though I was under 18, like, they let me vote for them. Like, they let me pick their vote. I picked Hillary, and this year I picked Joe Biden, so. So, yeah, like, I picked Joe Biden, because, plus, from what I'm hearing, is Kamala Harris the first vice president that's female? We're doing good. Women are getting good, powerful positions, as deserved. Like, women, there's nothing wrong with women being in good positions in life, being, like, back in the day, men, women were just expected to clean the house. Well, guess what? Things are changing for the better here. Like, now. Nothing wrong with a woman being a vice president. It's a very good thing. Something different. Like, seriously. And I also heard something about the first transgender person in Senate lately. Pretty good. I mean, I'm not super political, so if I got that wrong, you can correct me. Or the first transgender person in Congress, whatever it was. Like, I'm not super political. So, like I said, I don't look at all this stuff. So, if I'm ever, if I'm ever politically incorrect, you can correct me. Because I've, I've not really been a super political person, really. I'm really not. I believe in equality and rights. But I'm not a super political person. But now that the elections come up, you know, I'm, I'm talking about politics all the time. Because you know it's the election right now. It's election season. You know, I gotta be hyped up. I'm gonna pull up how much Biden won by. Nope, I gotta I gotta pull up the other tab. No actually I'm probably gonna uh election results. Two hundred and ninety to two fourteen. Biden won by a landslide. You gotta be honest, like Hillary won by the popular vote last time too. So all the bigots are gonna have to realize they lost. Donald Trump only cares about the white rich people and maybe a few rich rappers. That's it. He only cares about the black people who are already rich and on the top. Like, you notice how all the all the people that are Trump supporters that are black... I'm not, I'm not saying every Trump supporter, but you notice how all the famous black people that were supporting Trump... You notice how all of them are really, like, the really famous ones that you've been hearing of for years and stuff? Like, Lil Pump, like, he was already rich. You notice it's all the rich rappers... Supporting Trump. 
because they know it's helping their taxes because Trump is helping the taxes for the rich. At least Biden, like the rich, is, the rich people already paid at least a percent. So, so, so Biden going in office is just going to make it more equal. Plus, if a rich person, one rich person, like one person making millions and millions and millions of dollars, one person being taxed more is helping way more people out than taxing every middle class person. Like, taxing a little more out of rich people is helping way more than just taxing middle class people all the time. You, you tax every rich person a little more. You don't know how much you're really helping. A little more of a percentage. Like, that's millions of more dollars coming in. So, yeah, I'm glad I voted for Biden who supports equal rights. And also, Trump was not a supporter towards, towards autistic people. He supported the hate group Autism Speaks who just want us cured. And from what I'm hearing, his son might have autism, so he's a bad example for his son. And just because you have a brother or a cousin or a friend with autism, that does not mean you support autistic people. Just And also, just because you have a black friend, that doesn't mean you aren't racist. And just because you have a transgender friend, that doesn't mean you're not transphobic. So I think I made my point clear here. I noticed social workers who say they're not, they're not, they're not uh, ableist because they work with special needs kids. No, you're still an ableist because you treat me like shit because of my special needs. So fuck them. Um, and at least with Biden, we're probably going to keep TikToks. He said as long as the companies follow the rules. That's what he said in the debate. I remember that. And once I heard that, I was like, I got to vote for Biden because he said as long as they follow the rules. And I respect them as a man for saying that. Like, like, if you watch the debate, you'll know what I'm talking about. Like, I did watch the third one and the first one. I didn't watch the vice president one. Because I figured it'd probably be similar to the president's. But you got I saw some things on TikTok and Facebook and Instagram where Kamala Harris was just freaking roasting Pence. It was hilarious. Like, and, and Kamala Harris was like, I'm speaking. Like, she was trying to be nice, but she was not afraid to get her hands dirty. She's like, I'm speaking. Like, dang, that, that woman was so freaking funny. Like, she was great. First vice president, that's a woman too. Props to vice Fight. Props to my vice president, Kamala Harris, and props to my president, Joe Biden, who are my president and my vice president. They are my president. That's my president because he already won. That's my president. That's my president. That's my president. He won fair and square. I swear, when Hillary lost, you didn't hear the whole world saying, Ah, rigged election. You didn't hear hey Hillary going all over social media saying, Rigged election. You just you just saw her disappear for a little bit, which is okay. She was upset that she lost. She's she's entitled to be upset because she lost the election. She's she's oh it's okay that she was upset. She's entitled to that. Like she's entitled to be upset or say what she's gotta say about being upset that she lost the election. She's entitled to that. But saying that it's rigged is something whole completely different. Trump said, oh, this election is far from over. Well, guess what? It is over. It's done. He didn't fucking win, so get over it. Fucking bigots. I know it's always the bigots that would be that upset over Biden freaking winning. Like that, The bigots are always the ones that are that upset. Oh, let me get my water real quick. Over, um... Biden winning. Like, like, people that aren't bigots would not be flipping out because Biden won. People that aren't bigots would be like, alright, Biden won fair and square. Like, Biden did not rig the election. And even if some votes were thrown out and all that, whatever, you still can't take that out on Biden because there's no proof that that's tied to him. And all them votes were red restored too because... You saw the media had coverage every time it happened, so... And those people got charged criminally. So you can't sit here and act like nothing happened. So Biden did win, and stop being such fucking sourpusses and fucking crybabies about it. Biden won. Get over it. Hillary won by the popular vote last time, too. So how is anyone even surprised? Yeah, Hillary won by the popular vote. And Biden's even better than Hillary, so... Yeah, like Biden, everything that you could say bad about Biden could also be said about Trump, so. Like, 
So, to be honest, like, I feel like I wanted Bernie to vote Trump at first, but I feel like Biden was not a bad matchup. I feel like Biden was not a bad choice. Because, um, Biden wanted our democracy to stay away as, like, having the rights and all that. That's why people liked Biden over Bernie, because Biden wanted us to have a democracy. Bernie did too, but I feel like, I feel like, I don't know, like, Bernie was trying to tax the rich a whole lot. Like, I feel like Joe Biden was just trying to get the rich to pay a little more. But, but, uh, Bernie was trying to tax the rich even more than Biden. Biden was actually a good choice. Like, you can hate say, oh, dementia. Oh, but what what about a president who's had white supremacists in his family? Is anyone going to say anything about that? Trump had white supremacists in his family. Like, seriously. Like, and I'm saying that's worse than just the average racist. Flat out white supremacists in his family. Look it up. And you can see at the Trump thing, he said, stand by and stand back to the Proud Boys. Like, he didn't say, oh, no, don't, don't be, don't be going out, Proud Boys. Like, Proud Boys are white supremacists. They are. There's a difference in being proud that you're white and being a fucking racist and a fucking white supremacist. There's a difference in being just proud that you're white saying, I'm white and I'm proud. Like, there, there's a difference, okay? When you go against other races and when you use that to belittle other races, that's when you become a fucking racist and a white supremacist. Nothing wrong being proud of your skin color, though. I mean, I'm not going to sit here and think I'm extremely proud to be white, but I'm just like, it is what it is. Like, that that's how I look at it. Like, I was born white, that's that's that. and I'm, But I'm not going to be like, oh, I'm so white, I'm so proud. I'm not going to be one of those people, because that's not me. And thank God that Biden won, because these white supremacist groups are getting out of control. Like, you could tell when you see them white supremacist groups, you don't hear it in the media when they're pushing out a black person. The media is very selective to have everyone fighting each other. The media is very selective. They always portray Black Lives Matter as a terrorist group. Most like eighty percent of the time, the media is only showing the black bad stuff about Black Lives Matter. They're not showing the peaceful protests. I probably saw the peaceful protesting on the news what like a couple times, and I saw it way more on Twitter. Or they don't they don't tell you every time there's a peaceful protest. They only showed one statistic I saw, and that was it. They always like to focus on the chaos more, and when it's aimed for war, of people. Like, seriously. Like, when you when, when you heard about TikTok getting banned, like, every media source was on it right away. When you heard about TikTok having a chance, it was delayed, and you only saw it from a couple of sources. And every time it's something bad, you have, like, ten sources reporting on it. Every time it's something good, you have, like, two. So, yeah. I mean, you can hate me for having my own opinions. But I personally am a Biden supporter. But I don't feel like you should hate me for supporting Biden. Because that's just ridiculous. Hating someone for voting for a politician, that's just absolutely absurd. Unless it's Trump, because somehow you guys are a fucking white supremacist get us the second spot. I mean, the second spot in the election and first spot is Republican. Like, you guys could have chose Bill Weld, who actually supported equality and was Republican. I actually like Bill Weld. He was actually cool. I like that guy. He was actually a cool person. He was actually cool. I thought it should have been Bill, Bill Well versus Biden. That actually would have been a competition. A real competition. So, I can't believe Trump says something's rigged every time he loses. Well, guess what? The world ain't rigged up against one person. Except that they grow up middle class, or except that they grow up poor. That's when the world's rigged. Not for a billionaire. Alright, I'm out. Please give a thumbs up. Please comment down what you thought. Share the video. Subscribe to the notification bell for more videos. Pay me your money on Cameo for a shout out or a request. Thanks for watching, and that's all I gotta say. And Biden won this election fair and square. Hillary won by the popular vote last time, so yeah, she was actually more liked than Trump. And not to be racist, but most of the people that like Trump more than Biden and Hillary are always the older white people because they have their white privilege and they can't even admit to it.
Like, seriously. At least I admit, I have white privilege. I admit that a cop is not going to target me for being white. And that a cop is not going to pull me over for being white. I will admit that. And I will admit, I'm not going to be seen by a cashier or by a store. I'm not going to be targeted in a store for being white. And I'm not going to have people thinking... Like, I'm going to be honest, like, based off of what I heard, like, people will assume, like, a black person's up to a crime for being black. People are probably not going to give me a problem as a white man. They're probably not going to say, oh, my God, a, a white man, he's about to commit a crime. No, you rarely see that, okay? I'm just going to speak facts. If you want to call me whatever you want to call me, you can. But white privilege is freaking real. Like, you see a lot more white people in powerful positions and stuff like that. And you see a lot more white people who are wealthy, not to be racist, but you know what I'm saying. Like, white people have had the edge throughout history against black people. So, that's why things like Black Lives Matter are so important, and black history, and and also the reason why I think I'm starting to realize like, that, at first, I, I'm not going to lie to you, like, I kind of thought Women's History Month was kind of copying off Black History Month, but I feel like it's still kind of important because... Men view women as less than men, that is like weaker and stuff. So I feel like it is kind of important for women empowerment in that type of way because creepy men's gotta stop thinking they can abuse women and rape women. Like they gotta stop that shit. Like, yeah. If you're an abuser, you deserve to get your fucking ass beat, okay? Period. If you if you put your hands on a fucking woman trying to threaten the person that you're supposedly supposed to fucking love and it's not in self-defense, you deserve to get your fucking ass beat. If you're going to intimidate your woman and put your hands on your woman, you deserve your ass beat. Absolutely. And if you rape a woman, you deserve fucking life in jail. All right, thanks for watching.